I want you to know that I come to Lent, Ash Wednesday, and it just feels like a tremendous relief. No need for pretension. No need for trying to be impressive. No need to do anything but to be able to enter in with a group of people who acknowledge quite openly and freely that we are not all that we are called to be, that the world is a both, both beautiful and a train wreck all at the same time, and that the only remedy, the only way out is through facing up to that in all of its horror, so as to accept the sacrifice of Christ in all of its beauty. It's refreshing. It's like a dirty window being washed clean and being able to see out of it clearly and noticing things that one never ever could have seen if it was still smudged all over. Things being sharply brought into focus, not the least of which is the clarity that one sees about one's own life and the clarity that one sees about what we've been given in this grace, beauty, and mercy that God so freely gives us. You see, Ash Wednesday is first and foremost an invitation. I, I come actually because I've been invited. That through no <laughs> acknowledgement of my own, or much less anything that I can bring to the party that qualifies my being invited. And in fact, God's standing against any effort that I might make to somehow qualify myself so that I can feel like I've been worthily invited into the party. I mean, what is the crucifixion of Jesus about if it is not about the death of self-justifying religion? So that even the perfect Son of God, who offered everything perfectly, himself cried out in abandonment, My God, why have you forsaken me? Because God turning his back on any effort at any religious practice that would in fact justify myself based on something that I have done. If the Son of God can't do that, then certainly what are we doing mm -hmm. in trying to make that effort? No, I'm here because I've been invited. That God, God has invited me to come and see things clearly. <laughs> and that, that in receiving the ash on my forehead, I say yes to this profound acknowledgement that without God, it's all I am. What does the liturgy say? It's, a, it's the mark of my mortal nature. It's all I've got. So I have nothing that somehow qualifies me to say yes to such an extraordinary invitation is to enter into a life with God. To be what Paul calls in 2 Corinthians, an ambassador for Christ, who says with all of his being, be reconciled to God. The temptation is to see this as something other than it is. Something that satisfies and brings great power and life and self Affirmation, and we live in a world that is soaked in that kind of prideful self-sufficiency. It's, it's like oil in our bones. It's a part of who we are. This says, in the midst of all of the need that I still have to gain acceptance through these means which are nothing but this, I am still willing by God's mercy to step in and say yes to a different kind of life to continue to be changed, to say yes to a life that's not based on me looking good, but instead a life based on Christ's mercy 
that allows me to serve whether I look good or not. That's what that whole list in 2 Corinthians is about, is being thought of as imposters and poor and all these other sort of things that nobody wants. And yet Paul understands that that's the price of living a life that says with all of his very being, be reconciled to God. Not to this. It's just ash. Nothing more. Nothing more. And so, to come here is to say yes to that invitation. And to ask God to show me that somehow my life might be so intertwined with his that the marks of prayer, fasting, generosity are woven into my life in a way that makes it more possible for me to be that instrument through which God says, be reconciled. That's why we do those things. We don't pray and give and fast so that we can feel better. We pray and fast and give so that that divine life that can only come from Him flows through us even more freely. That we might be the ambassador that God has asked us to be. To be a channel for His divine life because without it, it's all I've got. It's all I am. So yes, we repent because this is pretty seductive stuff. And we live in a world of so many voices that says something very different from what we're saying here today. And so, come with me. I can only get there, quite honestly, if I'm doing this with other people, even though I wish I could be more independent. To say yes to this divine invitation, to be a part of this divine life, that the world that is so enamored which, with those things which were in fact <clears throat> under judgment, blow the trumpet, call a solemn assembly, Judgment is here. Might escape the judgment and know the joy of a life marked by repentance and prayer and generosity. That they might hear in new ways the wondrous call of our Savior, be reconciled to God. Thank you.